Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Ninja Turtles podcast. Alright, well it looks like we have another update for the upcoming sequel. This time coming directly from producer himself, Michael Bay, who just the other day showcased three new behind-the-scenes photos for the Ninja Turtles 2 film. And in this case, it has to do with some vehicles that will appear within the Turtles film. And what I've done is, again, for the sake of podcast purposes, that's why I set up my Facebook page. I post the pictures there because for some kooky reason, showing behind-the-scenes stuff on YouTube involving any sequel or any news on a movie tends to get flagged. That's why I have it instead of my Facebook page. So check it out. When you have a chance, you'll see the pictures there. But they basically consist of two vehicles that will appear within the film. The first one is, it looks like it'll be an upgrade of the Ninja Turtles um van. In this case, it's now a garbage truck. And at the end of the first film, they of course introduced a turtle van, and they even introduced it by having the familiar Ninja Turtles theme play on the horn section of the of the of the um, vehicle itself. It looks like though in this film, the upgrade is going to be a much larger vehicle. It's going to be a garbage truck. And no doubt it's going to be tricked out on the inside with all forms of weapons and surveillance and the usual stuff that Donatello loves doing when it comes to his vehicles. So this one is going to be pretty cool. It's officially going to be called, I believe, a battle wagon. Uh, I'm not sure if that's, I mean, I guess we'll wait and see until the toys start coming out to see what it's called. But that's the going title so far. And it looks like they modeled it after... Uh, some of the vehicles that were in the cartoon series. So great, great stuff. Um, they even have on the front side, I'm sorry, on the very front hood of the vehicle, uh, a New York sewer um, metal lid, uh, the sewer cover, my apologies. And so they have it there as a kind of like a homage to some of the other Ninja Turtles history. On the side of the vehicle, they have it as Tartaruga Brothers, which if I'm not mistaken, is Italian, which means Turtle Brothers, which is again a little nod to exactly what the inside contain. Well, on the outside, it just looks like another garbage truck, but on the inside, know that it'll be completely tricked out, so great, great stuff. The other vehicle is a bit of a mystery. Um, it's a Polaris Slingshot. It is an actual vehicle. Um, it's, it's, it's a tricycle, but reversed, where instead of the, uh, uh, the back two wheels being on the back, instead now they're in the front. And I don't know exactly who's going to have this particular vehicle. It looks very futuristic. And again, it is an actual vehicle. It's something that uh, people can buy, I believe, today if they wanted to. So anything involving this vehicle, maybe it'll make its grand debut within the film as a uh, to the mass audiences. But who knows who's going to be driving this? I don't think it's the Turtles because this is something that would seem very strange for them to work with uh, and drive. I don't think it's going to be like uh, April O'Neil or any of the other characters like Vern, there's a long shot that it could be something that Casey Jones is driving within the film, but that would kind of go against his montage of being that uh, vigilante, um, homegrown justice type person, the kind of where, I mean, we've always known in the comics and especially in the cartoon series where he's mainly just somebody that is not a rich guy, he's just somebody just doing this out of pure passion and but this is a vehicle that looks like it would be something that somebody really rich would own it maybe it's something as far as um, Eric Sachs's vehicle um, who knows I mean, it's still pretty mysterious but sure enough it has been debuted yesterday so check it out when you have a chance again these images are on my Facebook page I wish I could post them here again but based on experience involving the Godzilla film anytime I start to post pictures from behind the scenes stuff especially if it's spoilerific then that's when I start running into trouble but check it out on my Facebook page alright everybody thanks again as always take care